Ah, oh, hello, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster with the World's Top Talk Show. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClure Live on Facebook Live. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for the nation, for the world, made possible by you, the citizens of the world. Welcome, I say. Excellent stuff. Now, Sunday night, nothing gets past me. Sunday the 11th of December 2016. With so much to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. We're also the Shout Out Show, of course. So if you like to come on and uh, send us your dedications, then I shall endeavour to make sure that everybody gets these. Now, a little bit of a voice and chest tonight, as you can hear. So uh, you'll just have to bear with me. Julianne Scott's watching. She says, hey, Scotty. Kevin Malcolm McGregor's watching. Jonathan Darwin's watching. Louise Sullivan, George Mullen, and Gaz Rowley Jones. Dave Hemsley's watching. Good evening, David. Lovely to hear from you. Hope all's well. Uh, television's off, yes. TV's and radio's off at 10 o'clock on a Sunday night because Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Do. A shout out to Ashley, says Kevin. Yes, of course, Kevin. No problem at all. And uh, a shout out to, uh, I shan't be shouting out to Sean, of course, because uh, he spoiled last week's show and we lost all the video because a young gentleman, well, it wasn't a gentleman, decided to say something naughty. We swear to what. So last week's show, when you're looking at it in archive, uh, show number 11, global show, Scotty McClure global show 11, is in audio only. And uh, thanks to uh, chat call, Sean, we shan't be taking any more Skype calls. So there you are, too dodgy. It's a shame when uh, one young person actually thinks they will spoil it for thousands and thousands and thousands and millions in fact so there you go uh scotty could you unblock elliot no elliot is unblocked us i've told you that uh, hello scotty says james logan thank you do james scotty what was the saturday night live you done well i didn't actually done anything i did something so there we are and um it was really just to let you know about tonight so I did a little thing on Saturday afternoon. We also did something about 10 minutes ago to let you know as well. Hi, Scotty, says John Paul. Have you got the man flu, McClure, says Dino the Doug. Dino, I have a little bit of a chest, but you'll just have to bear with me. Uh, we're certainly not that uh, good to let that stop us broadcasting on a Sunday evening. And uh, nice to see you in your tie and jacket, Scotty. Lovely says Esther Hart. Thank you, Esther. Very nice. I feel one should dress as a mark of respect for who you're going to see. And I'm seeing all you guys, the citizens of the world, live on Facebook Live. So that's why I like to smarten myself up. Jay McCormick, looking for a shout out. Of course, Jay, dinky do to you. Uh, good evening, Scotty, says Alex Robertson. Alex, a very fine actor there in pantomime at the King's Theatre in Glasgow. Uh, Nathan says that song was written 85 years ago. Uh, did you catch it off a man, says George Mullen. No, I caught it off a lady who said, don't come too close, Scotty. I'm absolutely loaded with the cold. So she thought she'd load me up with the cold as well. And that was just walking beside her. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, from Sunny Stornoway. Scotty, can you say happy birthday to my son, Jordan Hammond? who was at the Big 18 yesterday. He likes your live show on here. I have to say, I think a lot of you like the live show. There's almost 70,000 of you have seen Scotty McClure's live shows if we take them all. So we're looking at something like maybe, you know, four or 5,000 every time we do a show. That's pretty good for, um, you know, starting off on Facebook Live. And it's becoming, if you've got a show on Facebook Live, that's the place to be. Uh, Steve McKenzie's watching. Hi, Scotty. I'm glad the X Factor's finished. You have my full attention. Somebody said, yes, you're up against the X Factor tonight, Scotty, but it's not any competition for Scotty McClue. Who would you rather have, the X Factor or Scotty McClue? Be honest. Oh, I win, hands down, don't I? Come on, tell the truth. So there you are. Remo Pesiti's watching. Dinky do to you, Remo. Concentration, says Paul Anthony. Absolutely, Paul. Concentration is the big thing. In fact, talking of concentration, you'll see I took part in the mannequin challenge. 
and uh, the big viral thing that's going right across the world and I uh, stared at the camera and didn't blink for over four minutes. You'll be able to see it on YouTube and you'll be able to see it on Facebook Live as well. Give me Sandy Johnson from Glasgow City Centre a shout out to cheer her up. She fell and hurt her wrist yesterday and she's feeling down. Sandy Johnson, you get cheered up big style, I tell you. And get back to playing the piano. And uh, who else have we got? Scotty. The 69,000 viewers were me, says Charles McLaughlin. <laughs> McLaughlin. You need to tell me, Charles, exactly how I say your wonderful name. Hi, Scotty from Danny in Darnley. Danny Boyle down in Darnley. They're dinky do to Danny from Darnley. Sandy Howden, Scotty. They're spelling your name wrong. Only one or two of them. It's S C O T T I E. Always I E. I've seen people use a Y. Uh, there's Michael McGregor saying, Night Scotty, he spelt it with a Y. Evening, says David Ritchie. Straighten your tie, will you, says Paul Anthony. Sorry, Paul. I don't think it's the tie that's straight. The short collars rising up a wee bit. Uh, hi, Scotty, I Skyped you a few weeks ago. No school tomorrow. My dad's letting me listen to the whole show, says Stevie McKenzie. Did you do, Stevie? You did Skype me, yes. We shan't be taking Skype at the moment till we put in a profanity delay device, thanks to two boys last week. Uh, this isn't the same without the Skype call, Scotty. No, it's not, Adam. It's something different. So there we are. It's better because I can actually talk to you direct on Facebook. Another craze. Um, pen, pineapple, apple, pen, says Julie and Scott. Well, that's an interesting one. Um, now, bring them back, says Adam. No, I'm not bringing them back because we had a swearer. So the boy who swore has ruined it for millions of people. So he can sit back. He said to his classmates, he said he thought it was worth it. Uh, I don't know. Hello from Maine in the USA, says Joanna K. Jackson. Joanna K. How fantastic to hear from you from Maine in the USA. Guys, if you're watching me from around the world, do say where, and I will give you a mention on the program. Uh, eating my chili nuts washed down with a can of iron brew, watching Scotty McClue says Louise Sullivan. Dinky do to you, Louise. Josh Edwards, there should be a challenge called the McClure Challenge. Absolutely. So there we go. And um, now we can't have the Skype, Adam, so give up, I say. Watching in Denver, says Lewis Marchand. He's in Denver in Colorado in the United States of America. How fantastic. Hi, Scotty from Salisbury in North Lanarkshire. Says Brett McLaughlin. Dinky do, Brett. Lovely to hear from you. Scotty, they are changing the turning left rules on the road to suit cyclists. And as you know, Scotty, they don't pay road tax. No, well, Sandy, they don't have a motorised vehicle. You need to get that into your head. Bring back the Skype, says Adam. I can't bring back the Skype, Adam. I cannot. We are guests in people's houses. And I am not putting my name to something where the swearing on a program of this magnitude. So there we are. A little local radio station, obviously an apology and what have you, but this is big. I usually watch the show in Perth, Australia, but tonight I'm watching in Rome, in Italy, says Remo Basiti. How fantastic. Say hello to Rome and uh, to the wonderful amphitheatre there. And to everybody in the Vatican, of course, as well. Um, I'm listening in. Sahurita in Arizona, says Heather Fox. Have I said it right, Heather? Where's the Skype, says Adam? You're not getting the Skype, Adam. I've told you and told you and told you we had a wee swearer on. So we can't risk it. Uh, so there you are. I'm Nielsen, says Josh Edwards. Good for you. Chips, sir, says Kieran. Ah, dinky do, Kieran. Lovely to hear from you. All cycles should be insured, says George Mullen. Scotty, show us your hair. No, no, I'm not showing my hair. Hello from India, says Suraj Chatterjee. Dinky do. And um, why is there no Skype, Scotty? We've told you, Adam, time and time again. Not going to answer you again. Uh, was it a cheeky wee boy who swore at you? Um, and uh, all that sort of stuff, says Angie Tom. Yes, it was, Angie. Ian Walker is watching Dinky do, Ian. Robbie Bean's watching Dinky do. Better than most. A good job, says Heather. That's a shame. One has to ruin it. I hope you'll be back on in the wireless somewhere soon, says Brett. Well, Brett, you keep an eye and an ear out for the new year. Could be some very big news for Scotty McClure.
You know what I mean? Uh, Scotty, get back to the, the Adam. In fact, Adam, if you mention Skype again, I'm going to ban you, okay? Uh, have you got a sore throat since Robbie Beer? No, I don't have a sore throat at all. I'm just sounding a little bit on the rough side because somebody gave me the lurgy. So it's come up. Listen to this cough. <coughs> there you go. See? Uh, have you ever seen Slab Boys? As Lewis much Yes, I have. The Slab Boys. Excellent. Oh, a Mr. Exclusive, says Brett. Yes, absolutely. Ross Cullen, any Skype calls? No, Ross, no Skype calls tonight, I'm afraid, because we had a swimmer. So there we go. Evening, Scotty. A pleasure to see you again, says Frank McElroy. Frank goes back a long time in the Scotty McLean fan base. Who else have we got coming up? Lots and lots of you. Now, I've lots of subjects I'd like to discuss with you tonight, and a gentleman was very concerned about the women drivers. Um, and I know it's been one of mine over the years, but he was saying they're actually very, very dangerous at the supermarkets at this time of year. Because obviously, women are programmed differently to men, I would say. I think that would be a fair comment. And they've got lots on their mind, and their driving can be a bit dangerous. If you watch a woman parking, um, I'm sure they are coordinated differently in terms of spatial awareness. And um, sometimes it's comedy, sometimes it's tragedy. Uh, do you still enjoy still, do you enjoy still games, says Lewis? Yes, I do enjoy still game, Lewis. Yes, I wouldn't mind a wee part of it. You're looking very dapper, Scotty, with your shirt and tie and bonnet combo, says Brett. My combo. Any updates on radio stations hiring you, Scotty? It would be great to have you back on the airwaves, says Stephen McKenzie. Yes, it'd be good. But the next one we're looking at is a very, very big radio station. Have you sorted out the Hogmanay tunes yet? Because it's on a Saturday, says Angie Thompson. Now, do you want to see in the new year with Scotty McClue? Let's know what you think on the old Facebook here. Uh, Roddy McFadden says, Scotty, Skype was the main part of your stream. Yes, it was, but we had a swearer, so we won't be doing it. One tiny swearer thinking he was funny ruined it for everybody. You can actually hear it on the audio. So if you go on and listen to the audio, Global 11, about the last 10 minutes of the show, you'll hear the swearers. Derek McIntyre, a very, very fine broadcaster, is watching. Great character, Derek. Wonderful for organising your events. If you've got events you need organised, Derek McIntyre is a dab hand at doing that and a big name in broadcasting. Scotty, I'm worried about the Scottish education. You told me it was great. Scottish education is outstanding, Sandy. I know they've run into one or two challenges recently, but uh, Scottish education is still the very, very finest. The worst performing um, education setup is down south, believe it or not. So there you are. I won't tell you which one it is. Definitely bring in the new year, Scotty, says Louise. Thomas Cridden is watching in Bolton. Bolton in Lancashire, aye. And um, why don't you ban the sweater? And let us call you, why don't you ban the sweater? Or the swearer, I think you mean the swearer. And let us call you, I have banned the swearer, Adam. The swearer will never Skype me again. And the swearer will not be able to watch this program now unless he's seeing it with somebody else. Happy birthday, Mr. Cruden. Absolutely, says Nathan Livingston. Yes, very happy birthday to Mr. Cruden today. Uh, tragedy, the minute they get behind the wheel, even worse when they start the engine, says Frank McElroy. He's talking about lady drivers here. Have you got your Christmas tree up yet, Scotty? Francis, I have a tree that's up all the year round. It's fantastic. Ha ha ha! The sweater, yes, ban the sweater. He means ban the sweater. I know several women who passed their test years ago and can't drive any more than three miles from their home. Um, you Skype us then, Scotty, says Dino. The dog gets good point. The swearer is history now, says Adam. Yes, he is. Uh, ban the women. They shouldn't be on the road and they should be making the man's supper, says Robbie. Any advice from you radio presenters like myself, says Louise? Yes, never, ever, ever give up, Louise. And keep in every way, every day, getting better and better and better. Promote your station all the time. And also tell people what's happening next. What is coming up next? That's what your audience want. A favourite Christmas movie, says Lewis. Oh gosh, 
Do you know, funnily enough, Bridge Over the River Kwai used to be on every Christmas when I was a youngster uh, with Alec Guinness um, playing the part about the uh, Burma Railway, the Bridge Over the River Kwai. So I don't know what else will be coming on. What pics have you got in the background? It's just little pics. So that's me of some time ago. And I always wondered where the phrase Dinky Doo came from. Well, I brought it in, maybe. There's a few Dinky Doos around now. But I brought it in because it means to me, is all well with you? Are you Dinky Doo? The new job, Scotty. Can you tell us more, George? I can't tell you any more at the moment. I'm sworn to secrecy. As soon as I can, I will do. So there we go. Now, uh, Scotty, if you want a platform, I can recommend a great station online who are really, really good. I'm currently a presenter and would love to have you. I'm sure it's more hobbyist type radio uh, that you would like to go. Um, there we go. Now, where's the Doug, says Robert. The Doug, I had to shout him uh, because uh, he was uh, tearing up some paper just when we started the program. So I've shouted on him and he's calmed down. He's gone to his bed. Um, I bought your ringtone, Scotty. No one's called me. <laughs> Excellent stuff. <clears throat> George says, in your day, have you fought anyone? Yes, only if they've fought me. Um, now, uh, what have we got here? George has shared the video. How are we doing time-wise? Let me just check here, folks. Just checking the time. Ah, yes. Uh, we're about quarter past. We're just after quarter past ten. So let's have a serious share point. Now, this is when you guys come into your own. Share, 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 share. Scotty McClure, Dinky Do, just for you. Live on Facebook Live every Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp. We're broadcasting globally to the world. This is the big one. This is new media at its very finest. And if you think about it, it could put television and radio out of business if it grows and grows and grows at the rate that mine's been growing at. So there we go. How much is the ringtone again? I think they're about uh, three ninety nine, something like that. Scotty, do you think you might retire? No, George, I will never retire. I was talking to a pension advisor recently, and he's worked out that I will be eligible for my pension at the age of 96. Obviously at 96, I'm not going to want to chuck it in when I'm enjoying myself. So I'll go the other four years. So you've got me for another 40 odd years. Um, I think he's far too young to retire, says Louise. I think so. I don't know why I would want to retire. Where do people get that idea? Um, there was a gentleman uh, running a huge education institution. They phoned him up and they asked him if he would uh, take the job. And he said, I'm 70. And they said, what's that got to do with it? So there you are. A bargain. You're joking, says Rory. No, no. Anything with Scotty McClure is a bargain. They're all family in a bargain, 52 pence a year. It really annoys me when people are um, cheeky about the royal family and try to lump in uh, a republic in this country. This country will never, ever be a republic. But I've got some good chat for you tonight. Because what I was thinking is Scotland should actually be independent. About 72% of the people now feel that. What might be a good idea is to uh, say to Westminster, look, we are going to separate, but it's a trial separation like couples do. You know, they talked about a marriage when they came up and it was not supporting independence for Scotland that wiped the Labour Party out in Scotland, completely annihilated it. Um, you know, it's down to almost nothing. So Labour's voice is a canary having a fart down a mine shaft, basically, in Scotland. That's the truth of it. Um, what's the subjects for discussion tonight, Scotty? Meat, Francis, I don't really answer to meat because that's more of um, a London thing. Uh, unless you're a meat and you've served with me in the Navy or the Merchant Navy. Where are you getting the 72% figure from, Scotty? Andy, that's the figure that is going about now because it was almost 50-50, 45, 55. And then it came up towards 50-50 and now about 72% have decided that they were wrong to vote no. But what we could do is if there are still no voters, which there will be, is say, look, if you're a yes voter, go with Holyrood, sign a form. If you're a no voter, sign a form. You want to stay with Westminster and pay your taxes to Westminster. Okay, 
So there you are. Now, what else have we got? Yes, we will be independent. It is our destiny, says John Paul Preston. I think so. Yes, I think there's fate and there's destiny. And a free Scotland is definitely Scotland's destiny. A traffic police says to me, I know your face from somewhere. I said, I get that all the time. I was in countdown for four weeks. He said, I thought I knew your face. <laughs> <coughs> Scotty, did you see the picture of the royals? And Kate had Diana's tiara on. She's beautiful, just like her mother-in-law. She's fantastic. I mean, Kate has done a wonderful, wonderful job um, as a member of the royal family. So what have we got here? McClure, can you announce the weather in Gaelic for Agnes to get her juices flowing, says Gordon, Gordon Stirling. Um, of course I can. Yes, come on. ha hu ha -hima. Uh, Koa Sheen Gordon. Uh, we are not bees. We don't need a queen, says Ian Walker. Yes, we do. Uh, it's as simple as that. Once you start to mess with the crown, you're absolutely finished. I can tell you that. In 1928, the Scottish Nationalists um, talked about this. In the 1950s, the Scottish Nationalists talked about this. Now, the Scottish Nationalists are way, way, way advanced in the last um, 80, 90 years, 100 years, whatever. Um, you know, they're way, way advanced, but, um, you know, you don't mess with the crown. 1707 has no bearing on 1603. Remember that. Very important. Uh, right. Now, who have we got here? Evening, sir, says Andy. Celtic or Rangers, Scotty, says Josh. Both, Josh. Big fan of both the teams. Tremendous. And uh, there's Gordon Sterling talking a bit of Gaelic. Good. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Uh, very controversial topics, says Lewis. Well, no, I mean, I think it's topics that everybody would like an answer to. It might be the same with Brexit. We should say, look, sign a form. If you want to leave the EU, fine, that's you out the single market. If you want to stay in the EU, sign a form and stay in the EU. Not a problem, be part of the single market, but the money will be coming. Down with the crown, says Robbie Bear. No, not at all. Up with the crown. Absolute bargain. 52 pence a year. And as for um, the royal palaces, they belong to us, right? So it's uh, right that the people should maintain them. And another myth that I have to quash when people say, it's ridiculous these people getting all that money when uh, there's people who are poor out there. If you did away with the monarchy uh, and the money was spent, the poor would still be with us. Trust me. So there you are. McClure always talks sense common sense right uh the royals are our royals they have scottish royal blood the scottish royal blood like yes the scots started the modern monarchy it was mary queen of scots son james the sixth of scotland who became james the first of england and started the stuart Dis dynasty destiny dynasty destiny started the stuart dynasty and of course queen anne the last of the stuart monarchs just died in 1714. The royals are our royals. Scotty, would you say I to your killy pie, says Lewis Callahan. Yes, I would. Would you say I to McClure's pie? God save the Queen, says Charles McLaughlin. Absolutely. I've got a Scottish hour in my show, which I made up myself. What's your favourite Scottish band? And I'll give it a mention in my show, says Louise Sullivan. Well, I like Craig and Charlie. I like the Proclaimers, I have to say. And uh, I like Deacon Blue. Um, you know, big fan of Deacon Blue. And, um, oh, lots and lots of wonderful Scottish bands. Jimmy Shand and his band, of course. Uh, Scotty, can I sell one of these palaces and get my money out of it and get a wee holiday? Well, George, you don't want to sell because these are assets. These are the family silver. So you don't actually want to sell the royal palaces. Where are you going to invest the money? You're going to invest it in property in SW1. What happened to your pie business, Scotty? I'm still the chairman of McClure's Pies. Celtic are the best mate, says Josh. That's purely an opinion, Josh. You know, the hoops of the blues. The Corries, says David Steele. Yes, the Corries, fantastic. Massive, massive fan of the Corries. I remember going to see the Corries in the 60s. And uh, Jimmy Shand says Andrew Thompson. I remember going to see the Corries in the 60s and coming out. People said, yeah, it was a, a, wee bit, a wee bit nationalistic, I felt. 
Uh, it was a wee, bit, a wee bit dangerous. A lot of people clapping and stamping their feet and agreeing with the songs. The Corries, absolutely fantastic. Roy Williamson, an OG, an old Gordon Stonian. And um, he wrote A Flower of Scotland. And if you listen to it, you'll see that it's based on uh, the chorus of the Hebrew slaves from the opera Nabucco. So um, it goes, Speed your journey, dee dee dee, dee 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 dee, O flower of Scotland. You see? You get it there? There you go. And um, who have we got here? Don't get into the football or the royal arguments, says George Muller. Why not, George? We discuss everything on here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with getting into football. There's nothing wrong with getting into discussing our royal family. They are our royal family. And um, Her Majesty the Queen at 90 is our queen. People that down the royals obviously don't know their history. Listen and read the facts and then you'll see why. They're an inspiration to everyone regardless of religion or colour. Quite right, Frank. Very good. Frank McElroy there. Uh, so there you go. Oh, no, not Sandy, says Rory. Hi, Scotty. I accidentally drove in a bus lane and got fined £30. I think these bus lane cameras are an excuse for the council to make extra money. What do you think, Tony? I agree with you. I think they are, actually. I think they're money makers. We grew up next to Sydney Divine's relatives and Jing's. My mum loved Sydney Divine. You will hear Scotty McClure interviewing Sydney Divine on YouTube. Uh, Scotty, I'm going to part the seas and take a walk over to Fife says Dina the Dove. Just remember, if you're sopping with the Fifers, you have to use a lying spoon. But I'm a great fan of Einster and Illy and Inverkin. Um You don't talk about police brutality, says Chris. Well, no, we don't talk about police brutality because we haven't uh, raised the discussion. Um, I'm watching a movie, says Josh. Good for you, Josh. A lot of people are watching a movie. It's called the Scotty McClue Hour on a Sunday night, the shout out show, the big one, the world's top top show with me, Scotty McClue. I do apologize for my voice tonight. A touch of the lurgy. Dinky do, Scotty boy, raising a glass of the malt for you tonight, says Mark Cruden. Happy birthday, Mark, and cheers, I say. Single or double malt? Uh, who's the only football player to win everything in England and Scotland, including a World Cup medal? <laughs> Roy of the Rovers. Um, who have we got here? Does Wee Fat Bob do radio? Do you still speak to him? No, I haven't spoken to Wee Fat Bob for 20 years. Um, I'll, um, who have we got? We don't talk about police brutality because we might get beat up. No, I don't think so, John. Star Wars or Star Trek? Well, you've got me there. I do like Star Trek, I have to say. And I do like Star Wars. Alex Guinness. Um, a bottle of cough mixture from the pound shop will sort it out, says Andy. Quite right, Andy. It will. It will disappear. Andrew Hiddleston's watching. Dinky do, Andrew. Star Wars. Sandy, says George Mullen. Scotty, thoughts on tea in the park not going ahead next year very interesting tea in the park um i think i should actually perform at tea in the park right we're coming up to half past 10. if we can have a share point now can every single person watching and everybody who's a member of the human race and outsiders who are very welcome share 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 Share, share. Share your Scotty McClure Facebook videos right now. Share as many as you can, guys. Very much appreciated. The more you can share, the better, the more it's appreciated. Dinky do, Scotty, says John O'Rourke. Dinky do to you, John O'Rourke. Done, says Julianne Scott. And two kisses. Thank you, Julie. You do do the loveliest things. And you make a fabulous job. So easy and pleasant. So if you can all share... Scotty McClure's video. And guys, I beg of you, this program is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And more and more and more people are joining us globally. So what I would suggest, there's talk of doing it during the week as well. Perhaps we might go full time. Who knows? 
But what I would suggest is just randomly, anything with Scotty McClure on it, share it because it's in all of our interests. It's very much in your interests to build the best talk show that we can have because we're slightly outside. We're becoming mainstream media by doing this program, but we're slightly outside a lot of the big, heavily controlled, heavily biased media um, companies. So it's very, very good to build the biggest talk show that we possibly can with me, Scotty McClure, live on Facebook Live, 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night. Tea in the Park was first in Strathclyde Park. Strathclyde Park is excellent, it really is. I remember walking my dog in Strathclyde Park uh, uh, late on a, a Friday evening and the police stopped me and said, can I ask what you're doing? I said, walking the dog. I said, the dog, where is the dog? I said, I don't know, he's run off. And, uh, I said, what's all this about? I said, well, we're just checking what people do. And he said, I mean, is he, is he lost? I said, no, he's not lost. He'll appear back. I said, there's his lead, there's his basket in the back of the car. <laughs> all that. <coughs> Dean of the Dark, can I go to the moon, Scotty? There's no atmosphere in the moon. When I grow up, I want to be Scotty. Giuseppe Bachetti is watching. Right, McDonald's or KFC? Who you've got me there. Scotty, the Nationalist newspaper circulation. <laughs> Sandy, nice try, but you don't have talk rubbish. The only thing that's actually not going up is the membership of the Scottish Labour Party, Sandy. <laughs> there you go. Your old mob virtually wiped out because they failed to back independence. For Scotland. Had they done so, you'd probably have found that they would be in power today or would certainly be chasing the SNP. So there you go. Have you fixed your bookcase yet, Scotty? No, I haven't, Francis, so I can't move to one side in case you see my untidy bookcase. Scotty, you'd get a massive audience if you do a live broadcast interview with President elect Trump. Uh, I've got a massive audience anyway, so that's never a problem, John. But people queue up to get on Scotty McClure and get interviewed because the saying in the media is if a politician can get by with Scotty McClure, then they've got the vote. So politicians, take note, big style. If you want me to interview you, we'll do that. We'll stick it up on YouTube. People can make their mind up. It will be digital in six months, Scotty. Well, as I say, wait for the new year, Sandy. Uh, I was in a competition that gave a first prize, two tickets away, uh, for two for M&Ds. So there you are. Good. Well done, Josh. How's the Labrador, Scotty, says Andy Taylor. Excellent, Andy. Now, I wanted to hear about Scotty McClure on social media. Scotty McClure is absolutely pivotal on social media. So, if you have a Twitter account, get yourselves onto Twitter and follow Scotty McClure. There's about 4,000 followers on there. Also, can I suggest that you follow Scotty McClure on all the Facebook pages? So there's this page that you're watching right now. The page you're watching right now, follow Scotty McClure. There's a public page with likes. There's about 5,000, over 5,000 likes. If you like to follow Scotty McClue on that page and like it. If you go into the Scotty McClue fan group, there's about two and a half thousand fans on there. Follow Scotty McClue on there and become a member. I shall um, tick your membership, okay? And um, also YouTube. We've got 140 videos on YouTube, this program will be going up on YouTube. Last week's program is audio only because we had a wee swearer. Tot, tot. He thought he was being clever, but he was just being very, 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 very silly. Uh, Sandy never read my text, says George. Scotty McClure's back. Yeah, says Apollo McGregor. Dinky do. Get Instagram, says Josh. Good night, Scotty. See you soon. Get a cup of salty water and gargle that throat. Tarala. See you, Frank. Take care of yourself, la. Glad you could have joined us. 
Paisley should be made the capital of Scotland. Well, my family gave the monks of Paisley Abbey the land to build the abbey. So there you go. Aha! What did it mean that the other team says Sandy? So there we go. Um, I got you hooked on everything, Scotty. YouTube, Twitter, all the pages. Absolutely. Google Plus. We're on Google Plus as well. And um, if you're on any of the big um, Reddit uh, pages, then feel free to um, share Scotty McClure's videos on there. Right. Love the monks, says Mark Cruden. The monks of Paisley Abbey. In fact, I have been told that I may well have royal blood and may be in line for the Scottish throne. What about that? Gig Scotty says, Josh, absolutely, Josh. Bye, Josh, says Christopher. Yes, bye. Um, isn't Skype Scotty Dot McClue, says Rory? Yes, it is. But we're not having the Skype tonight because of the wee swearer last week. Uh, are you doing a live show, says George? I'm doing it right now, George. Yes, this is live. Um, who else have we got? Scotty, you're a legend. I remember listening to you on the radio years ago. Where have you been, says Paula McGregor? Paula. I've hardly been off the radio. I did my last radio show uh, last year uh, on Friday the 13th of November uh, for the fabulous Your Radio in Dumbarton. Uh, so that's it, uh, but I've been all over the country, been 35 radio stations, Manchester, Sheffield, London, uh, you name it, Scotty McClue has been there, Newcastle. Uh, yes, King McClure would be most fitting, yes. Your Majesty, thank you, thank you. And um, now, what have we got? Do you like making all this up, says Rory? Making up the show? Absolutely, Rory. We love putting the show together. Um, I was listening to your debate with Norman about the royal family. You got him told, just like Mr. Martin, says Francis King. Yes. Um, if you want to understand about the royal family, Scotty McClue explains the monarchy on YouTube. Get that one and have a listen. Also, uh, have a listen to Scotty McClue on Scottish independence. And have a listen to Scotty McClue talking to the gentleman in Southport. It's had 193,000 views. Rob in Southport. Scotty McClue talks to Rob in Southport. Can't wait to have you back on the radio airwaves. You always inspired me to radio and media. A hot curry should help with your flu. Tony Mac, thank you. I've been told by a lot of people that I have inspired their careers in the media and in radio. There's room for us all. Uh, I remember a little uh, guy uh, stabbing me in the back. And when people stabbed me in the back, it was lovely because everybody would tell me, they'd say, just watch him, Scotty. We have a backstabber. And I remember um, saying, well, it doesn't matter because there's room for all of us. And where are the backstabbers now? Out of radio. They don't usually last. Scotty, they should read books, not Google it, says Angie Thompson. I know, Angie, but it is wonderful that uh, we are living in this um, land of technology where you can get instant information where you and I had to wait for the library to open. And when Scotty McClure started broadcasting on stations like Scott FM and Red Rose Gold, all the knowledge had to come off the top of the head. So there's a lot of knowledge in there. Uh, you just want a knighthood, Scotty. Simple, says Ian. No, Ian, if I wanted a knighthood, I would have one. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> I remember a guy saying to me, a very senior man, he said, would you want my job? I said, if I wanted your job, I'd be doing it. Scotty. I thought you were dead. I listened to you in Scott FM in the 90s, says Peter. Yes, you're absolutely right. Scott FM, I've always said it and I'll keep saying it, was Scotland's finest radio hour. Scotland's finest media hour, I actually think, to be quite honest with you. Scott FM, excuse me a second. There we are, that's me back. Uh, now, I uh, had a Tony Macaroni today, says Josh. Excellent, Josh. Very, very good. How's the crusty hands? Says Rory. Rory, looking excellent. I haven't even got my mitts on tonight. Can you see that? Not bad at all. Fantastic. So Scotty McClue has got a good sound to it. So Scotty McClue. 
absolutely. And uh, say hello to the Nielsen Young team. Best thing in Paisley is the bus out to Glasgow, says George. George, you obviously don't remember. I've worked in Paisley for many years, worked in God Street. And uh, Paisley was a fantastic place. People came from all over to shop in Paisley. High Street in Paisley was the place to be. And uh, another great place for shopping was Kilmarnock. I can remember my mother saying, we'll go to Kilmarnock because the shops are lovely. So there you are. Let's talk about nuts and bolts, says Peter. Scotty FM was the golden era of radio, says John Popperson. Yes, it was doing too well. That's why these big stations have effectively been neutered. Talk shows, fabulous music, great news reading, tremendous people, personality DJs, tremendous radio station. And I can remind it being uh, described by the head of another radio group in Scotland as a poor wee chunter of a station. Well, that poor soul had to realise that was no poor wee chunter of a station. Uh, I think we had round about quarter of a million per half hour listening to the Scotty McGrew shows. Uh, Scotty, my council tax is going up and it's not staying in Midlothian. The SNP are centralising everything. Well, Sandy, it doesn't matter. If you're centralising things, then you can keep a better eye on it. Uh, us Paisley buddies are the best, says Jackie Flynn. Absolutely, Jackie, the buddies are great. Scotty, can we get a Paisley boys here? So, excellent. Artificial or real Christmas tree, Scotty? Oh, I think you've got to go for the real Christmas tree, Mark, to be quite honest. Artificial Christmas trees. What's the point in that? Although, the Christmas tree, of course, was quite Victorian. Prince Albert brought it in because it reminded him of the trees in his garden at Rosnau in Germany. And uh, Josh says, yes, you're sure Scott RFM was the Dr. Dick's Midnight Surgery of the 2000s, says George. Yes, I, I would like to see a national radio phone in for Scotty McClure, to be quite honest with you. Um, or we do this on somebody's telly station at night and we have people phoning in. If you had a company who had access to a telephone part to their company, then they could take calls and we could have late night McClure live on international telly. How fabulous would that be? The guy who invented crosswords is buried in Paisley Abbey. As you go in the, the gate, four down, two across. Thank you very much. James Bauer is watching. Fabulous, James. Now, I'm just going to check the time, folks, because, yes, can we have another big share? That would be tremendous. Sorry for staring um, at you so closely there, but I was just checking the time. The clock's a wee bit away there. My son asked, why are you watching a guy from the wireless? Um, ask for your favourite Christmas song. Oh, Andrew, so many fabulous Christmas songs. Do you remember, if you go back a long bit, and it'll be very interesting to see if there's Andrew watching right now who remembers this. There's a lovely young couple called Nina and Frederick. And they brought out a Christmas song called Little Donkey. Little Donkey Carry Mary Safely on Her Way. Does anybody remember Nina and Frederick? And does anybody remember Little Donkey? It was so popular, I got the sheet music and learned to sing it. Good evening, Scotty, says James Byer. Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you, James. Uh, John Paul and 20 others have just shared the video. We need more than that. Everybody who's watching right now, share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Get sharing, guys, and keep sharing randomly during the week. It's lovely of you to like all my videos. And I make no apology. I do obviously apologize for all the shares. Uh, you must get driven up the wall. But keep sharing and sharing and sharing. It's very important because we are building something very, very special here. We're building a massive, massive talk show for the world with me, Scotty McClue. Dinky do. Live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp each Sunday evening. Um, so there you are. Sing it, Scotty. Little donkey, little donkey, says Mark. Mark, my voice is not great tonight, but uh, it's wonderful, wonderful. Little donkey, carry Mary safely on her way. So uh, ring out these bells tonight. Sing it, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. My friend Stuart sitting next to me. He's never seen you before. So if you're a new fan, says Francis King. 
Yes, my dad, Craig Steele, loved it. He's no longer with us. So, play it with a candle lit. You're talking about Paisley. I remember graduating with my HNC in radio at the beautiful Paisley Abbey. It is it's fantastic. So get yourself in there and read all about the Stuarts, the stewards. They were the stewards for the king. Very much a royal abbey there. I remember the song, says Esther Hart. That's it, says Angie. Get the Skype in, says Christopher. No, Christopher, we can't because a naughty boy did a sweary word last week and we can't have that in people's houses. Still believe this time of year um, by Rain Town from Glasgow. Check it now on Facebook. It's a fantastic tune, says James Barr. Ed says, I'll share if you do a quick check to see if you've blocked Elliot. He can't get the page. Definitely says Ed. I'll have another look, Ed. But as far as I know, Elliot is not blocked. Uh, Dino the Doug, is that sheltered housing? You're in Scotty. Well, yes, it could well be, Dino. Uh, all housing is shelter to an extent. Figgy Park in Paisley. The mice wear overalls. Figgy Park. Do you know that Figgy Park originally was the Coates house? Their address was Fergus Lee Park. The Coates, GMP Coates of Paisley, the Threadmills, and their house was Fergus Lee House in Fergus Lee Park. So there you go. Scotty, are you a cigar man? Not for about 20 years, Liz. He used to smoke cigars. And I remember being down in London at a meeting, and I was out in St. James's Street, and I went into a very well known tobacconist, and they had a humidified room. And I bought a top cigar, and the chap said, I'll cut it for you if you're going to smoke it just now, sir. And I said, no, don't, because I'm going out in the taxis and all the London traffic at Piccadilly there. I thought, what I'll do is I'll go to my club and I'll smoke this after dinner tonight. And I did. My girlfriend and I had dinner at my club in London's West End, just off St. James's Street. And I smoked my cigar. Uh, you could smoke in these days in public places. And there were several hours smoking. And then I went out for a walk and the cigar was still going. And we had a fabulous walk um, round through to Buckingham Palace Mews. Tremendous. So there you are. Uh, bring back the Skype, Scotty, says Andy. Well, I hope Elliot's blocked. He's, he, he, he shouldn't be, Colin, says Robert. Uh, no, I don't think he is. Who's the best MP you've met, says George. Oh, George, I've met stacks and stacks of them. I always remember being at a party and there was rather a loud mouth there in a striped blue suit, a three-piece blue suit. And he's talking there, ha, 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 that sort of chat. And uh, he said to this gentleman, he said, um, you'll know me, I'm a Conservative MP. And the chap looked around and he said, I don't think many people actually heard that. And don't worry, I'll certainly not let on. Wonderful line. Right, so there you are. Um, have you got Mrs. McClure, our Christmas presents? Yes, I got her a new bag and a new belt. So there we are, and apparently the Hoover's running beautifully now. Um, did you go to see the Shawshank uh, in the Theatre Royal Scotland? No, I didn't, Ed. Um, are you going soon, says Josh. I might well go and see it. Barbara Ann Haig is watching. Dinky do, Barbara Ann. Always love fair. Uh, seeing your posts on Facebook, and thank you. Scotty, that's a shabby bonnet you've got on. This is an excellent bonnet. Very good bonnet. What do you make of council shutting day centres for dementia? Yes, I don't think they should be doing that. I think we pay a good whack of council tax, and I think there should be less greed from central government and more grants. People with dementia, I mean, these poor souls can't do anything about that. So they need all the help they can get. So open the purse strings, I say, to central government. Have you ever interviewed George Galloway MP? No, George Galloway blocked me on Twitter because he has a show which he calls the mother of all talk shows. And I said, George may have the mother of all talk shows, but Scotty McClure is the daddy of them all. And for my trouble, I got blocked from George's Twitter. Um, so there you are. Would you... Um, would you work for your gyro, Scotty, says Dino the Doug? Dino, 
Old McClure's had to sign on with the best of them in his time, so I know all about the gyro, I can tell you. I am a man of the people. A Scotty for first minister, says James Bower. Well, at least you could always trust me. We trust our first minister. We trust Mr. Salmon was wonderful as well. And it's interesting that of all the politicians that are really highly trusted, um, it's the Scottish politicians, it's the SNP politicians who are the most trusted. Um, so there you are. I think they're just different class, tremendous quality. Do you think we'll ever have a cashless society, says Chris Kennedy? It would be interesting, Chris, because to me, money is really just a means to an end. Uh, I've never been miserly. Good evening, sir, says George McNeil. Good evening to you, George. Um, so we're looking at wampum. Now look up wampum. It was Maori currency, as far as I remember, and it was shells. It was um, seashells. Somebody once asked me what my wife did. I said, well, it's kind of hard to say. She sells seashells on the seashore. Do you think Mary Black could be first minister one day? I wouldn't be surprised, George. I wouldn't be surprised. She's very, very good. Give us a dab, says Ed. Ed, you know I don't really dab as such. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised. No, Mary Black, a wonderful uh, young MP. Very interesting. And standing up for uh, people who uh, we feel can't stand up for themselves. <coughs> what time are you going tonight, says Josh? What time do we have? I'm going in a few minutes' time. I was going to chuck it in a little bit earlier because of the state of my voice. Has a politician ever tried to bribe you, Scotty, with a brown envelope? No, I wouldn't take a bribe with a brown envelope from anybody. But I don't think uh, politicians would ever try to bribe anybody with a brown envelope, to be quite honest with you. And nobody would certainly ever bribe me. Uh, remember, a good name is better than great riches. That was my grandmother saying. I have it, I won't show it just now, but I have it written up in beautiful text, scribe, script, scribed. A good name is better than great riches. That was my grandmother for you. Rabus or Tiger? Oh, now, Ian Walker, you really have got me there. I adore them both. Great line in Taggart. I remember Martin McManus getting annoyed with a merchant banker in Edinburgh and saying to him, you should have known about it. It was in the Herald. And he gave a very sarcastic smile and said, why would I read a Glasgow paper? <laughs> what a great line. Um, right. I'd take a bun, a bung, says Robert. Would you, Robert? Very good. I don't think you'd be getting one. This show's great. Come on, nation. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten, says James Barrett. Guys, the checklist once again. Can we have a share? Can everybody share right now? Share, 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 share. He might have got share. Um, right. Put Vic on the sole of your feet and your socks on over it, says Angie. Aha! Limmy's show, Scotty. Yes, I remember watching Limmy. Good night, my brother McClure. Make us stay shot, says Mark. Dinky do, Mark. Good night to you, sir. Dunderhead is the best word from Taggart, says Tony. He has a Dunderhead. I used to have Dunderheads called me Numptyheads, was the one. Scotty McClure introduced the word Numptyhead to Scotland. If everybody can share, we've had 10 shares so far. The Limmy shows this Chris Kennedy, absolutely. Uh, is this a nightly show now, Scotty, says Jamie. No, Jamie, not yet. This is a Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, just for one hour. Have you ever been to the Big Hoose, Scotty? I've visited the Big Hoose, Dean of the Dunk, on many an occasion. And also a lot of the guys in the big house used to write to me because they were allowed to have radios. And they said that Scotty McClue got them through the long, lonely nights. Uh, so there you are. I've shared it, Scotty, as always says Francie. Dinky do, that is tremendous. Thank you very much for that. Dinky do, says Scotty McClue. I shall just, I'm just going to renew the page here, guys, just to see what all of you lot are up to. This is this is like an aircraft console here. 
in front of me here. Sometimes it's just like flying, doing this program. So there we are. Yes, absolutely. And uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, now I'm just wondering if the program has jumped out early. Can you still hear me? Juju on the beat, Scotty. Barbara Ann Haig and an R31 have shared. Fantastic. She answers Barbara Ann. Scotty, hurry up. I'm going to miss the midnight mass. We're finished in a few minutes. I can tell you that. So there we go. I'm just looking at this here. This is absolutely incredible. I'm just wondering if, um, if the program has finished a bit early or if we've still got it. It looks to me like there's already a recording. Shared. Yep, we can hear you, says Esther Hart. Good. Loud and clear, Scotty McClue, says John O'Rourke. That's fabulous, John. That is great stuff. Scotty, I hope you've got your netter sorted. P.S. You're still on. Good. Excellent. It's nice not to have that loud tune beep beep and we have your full attention. Yes, absolutely. You're still here. You're still here, says James. That's excellent. Andy, higgy hig, 30 plus. Yep. Radio 5. Yes, Radio 5 live. Good channel. Magic, Scotty, says Alan. Yes, Magic Radio. All of it. Scotty, you're just wonderful, says Josh. Thank you, Josh. I still see you, Scotty, says John Paul. So we must still be on. Have you all shared? Have you all gone on to Twitter, if you've got a Twitter account, and um, followed Scotty McClue? Have you followed Scotty McClue on all the Facebook bits? We've got several Facebook pages here. There's Dinky Doo. There's the World's Top Talk Show. Get yourselves on there. If you run a radio or television show and you want Scotty McClue to get you a massive audience, give me a shout. Um, no problem at all. You can get in touch with me through the internet there. The Waverley or the Vital Spark? Ah, I have been in them both. As a young boy, I spent a lot of time at the Crinan Canal. My grandfather lived in Ardrishig, and I would go on the puffers. They would just say, there's a wee fella there, we'll just put her ahead. On you come, son, come aboard. And they would take me up to the wheelhouse, and there was a massive, massive steering wheel. And I can actually remember going in a steam puffer, the Invercloy, and there was a rope hanging down in the wheelhouse, and you could pull that, and that was the steam whistle. Shoot. Get that going, the Invercloy. The Waverley, it was a dear old friend of mine that put the engines in the Waverley, dear old Jim Ferrier, who was the uh, chairman of Rankin and Blackmore, engineers at the Eagle Foundry in Greenock, which was bombed during the Second World War. But they managed to put the engines in the Waverley in uh, 1947. She was built at A.G. Ingalls at uh, Point House and um, engined by Rankin and Blackmore and the Maid of the Loch. Uh, her engines were, as far as I remember, Rankin and Blackmore's as well. Um, Sandy Hayden still going on and on and on. It's the Scottish Government's fault. The police pay VAT. So there we are. Are the police a luxury, Sandy? That's it. I've missed the last hour. I've been in the... Oh, I missed the last hour of the boozer because he's been watching Scotty McClure. Good. Good for your health. Good night, Scotty. See you next week. Great show as always. Are those pictures behind you pictures of you? Yes, they are. There I am there. And there's another one there. And uh, there's a replica of the Vital Spark at Inverary. Yes, there is, George. You're quite right. And also the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary the second as she was. But she's now back to being the Queen Mary. Uh, I'll tell you the story uh, at another time. And she's been brought back. The wonderful Robbie Coltrane is, um, I think, uh, chairing the charity or looking after the um, fact that the Queen Mary has come back to the Clyde. So that's wonderful. Who won the X Factor, says Josh. I don't know, Josh, because everybody's watching Scotty McClure. Great show, Scotty, says John Paul Preston. Absolutely. Right, I'm just about to go now, so I shall push off. You look so young, says Richard. Thank you, Richard. That's very kind of you. I am young. A lot, uh, a lot to do, yet we haven't even scratched the surface particularly when it comes to broadcasting. Television and radio, I say, and Facebook Live. Skype next week, says Dino. And Matt won uh, the co-factor. Uh, so, wonderful. 
Give us a cliffhanger, Scotty. Yes, the cliffhanger is. You'll never know when I shall pop up live on Facebook Live and say dinky do to you from me, Scotty McClue. Share, share, share. Until next week, 10 o'clock sharp, God willing, weather permitting. This is Scotty McClue wishing all of you a safe and peaceful good night. Have a wonderful week. Look forward to seeing you all next week. And as we say in the very best of circles, dinky do and ta -ra lads, I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zen au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky-doo.